Hey YouTube, it's Chrissy and I'm here with my kids to do a product review haul. Um, so let me let them introduce themselves. We have Leilani, Devon, you know what it is. Tim. Maya. <laughs> All right, so we're excited to do this product review. Um, I actually probably threw away a lot of the products that I did want to review, but we do have some items that we can share whether we liked them or we didn't. So you guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull an item out of the bag and you guys can put your hands up if you like it or thumbs down, like don't buy it again. All right. All right. So the first thing we're going to pull out is this Chicharroni's hot and spicy chips that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, if you like these, should I buy these again or not? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I love them. Okay, so everybody likes these. So this is definitely a rebuy that you guys might want to try. All right, so the next thing is the Betty Crocker's Chill Treats. It came with four of the desserts. So should I buy this again or Ew, not? This is disgusting. <laughs> so no one liked it but Leilani. Um, I know. Did everybody taste these? Yeah, yeah, they're disgusting. They don't even come out right. So my kids didn't like it except for Lele. So there's still some more left in there because they didn't like it. So we'll probably have to like give that away to someone. All right. So the next one is Jim, uh, Jim Dandy uh, Quick 5-Minute Grits. Is it a go or no? No! Those were good. I liked them. What do you mean? You didn't eat any. I think yes, I it's did. because Lele doesn't even like grits, so that's no, probably why. No, I don't like grits. Get off my arm. <laughs> so if you haven't tried these products, you guys could just say that. So this is the Pantene Sulfate-Free Shampoo. I also had the conditioner, and I don't think any of the kids use this. I tried it. I actually love it. Usually when I do shampoo, it makes my hair feel like straw and uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like rough um but this actually made my hair soft i probably wouldn't buy it again only because it's only three fluid ounces but the product is really good so if i see this um in walmart or something i might pick it up and try it because i mean buy it because this was actually good so this is a good buy okay, okay so only uh maya and leilani have used this so this is the salon selective leave-in conditioner and they love this product. What do you like about it, pro this product, Maya? I like it because it like makes my hair really soft. Like usually, um, when I put other products in, it doesn't make it as soft, and it's kind of hard to apply. It makes my hair crunchy, and it doesn't. I mean, my hair crunchy, but it doesn't make my hair hard. <laughs> okay, and so this one it says it hydrates and shines, and it, so you feel like it does that. Yeah. So that's so this is a product. You do want to pick up if yeah. you, um, especially if you have curly hair. So that's a good one. And then this was another one, Salon Selective. This was the Frizz Control. Maya, do you like this one? Yeah, I like that one. That one was kind of like the other one too. It made my hair really soft uh, before I put my usual hair cream in. All right. So this one also does Frizz Control. So that's definitely a good buy. So I bought this for Tim. This is the Old Spice. Uh, deodorant, which actually is my favorite scent. It smells really good. It smells like cologne. It smells so good. But Tim, uh, Tim, <laughs> do you uh, think this is a good buy? No. It was horrible. And what happened when you used it? I broke out because I'm allergic to that. So it wasn't a good buy for Tim. It smelled really good, um, but he actually broke out from it. So uh, definitely not a buy that I would do again. And my husband actually does not like the, um, what is that like? He only likes the powder. He doesn't prefer, what is this, gel? He doesn't prefer the gel. So um, I definitely wouldn't buy this again. And Tim definitely broke out when he used that. So that's a no-go. So Maya, uh, me and Maya use this. This is the Salon Selective's hair oil. And Maya? I liked it. Me too. Uh, this is a really good find. Um, I think I've purchased this a few times. So this is a good find if you need a little oil for your hair. Um, definitely want to pick this up at Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so I had purchased this uh, family size Jolly Rancher cereal. Is this a good f good buy or not? I didn't try it. It's, no? It's, it, after the first day, the first day you try it, it's good, but then... It, after the second day, it's just like, ew. 
I actually liked it. It's uh, it tastes like uh, like tricks. That's what no. it reminded me of. No. I thought it was gonna be like a really sugary cereal, but it wasn't. It was like it tasted like tricks. But since the kids really didn't like it, I probably wouldn't buy this again. But if you like tricks, you definitely would like the cereal because that's what it tastes like. All right. Um, the next one, I purchased this family, I mean, this large size cinnamon uh, Cheerios. Yeah, that was good. I like these too. My husband liked these. So this is definitely a good find at Dollar Tree and it's name brand. So it's rare if we do get cereal. But when you do find cereal there, it's definitely a good find. So this is the Minions uh, Nabisco cookies. Whoever ate them. They just so, taste like little biscuits. Mm, I don't think they taste like biscuits. They taste like um, gr yeah, yeah, graham crackers or like the little animal cookies. So these were good and definitely name brand. Um, these are currently in Dollar Tree. So if you like those kind of snacks for your kids, definitely should pick those up. Um, okay, so they had this no bake. You want to show it? There's no bake cookie dough. And put it down so we can see if everyone liked it. I didn't try it. it so three of them tried them and they did not like them. Tim, what happened when you guys made? Because Tim, you made them, huh? Yeah. They were too chunky. They were too chunky. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. chunky. It just didn't taste good. It they didn't like them. Lemony. Lemony. You know what I mean. <laughs> Be quiet. All right. So this was a multi-purpose cleaner that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, and was this one good or no? Oh, it smelled good. I hate it. Everyone loved it but Tim. It. it did a really good job. Um, you were able to use this, um, on the floors or the counters, um, and, and cleaning your bathrooms, and it smelled so good. I definitely would pick this up again, so this is a good find. Oh, but it stained your rags, so. It stained your rags? Yeah. It, oh, I didn't know that. Are white rags red or pink. Oh, I Let's didn't know go. that. All right, so I think I'm the only one that smelled this one. So this is the strawberry shortcake uh, candle. Um, this one actually smelled pretty good. I would definitely buy that again. I know a lot of the Dollar Tree candles sometimes um, aren't really a strong scent, but that one was a good one. I actually would purchase that again. Um, so the this candle, I think I had one, and who else had one? You did. Uh, Who else had it? Maya? Me? Uh, no, no, Yeah. So, me and Maya had this candle, and I would buy this for sure again. This was actually my favorite candle. Um, I don't know if you've seen this in Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them again, but it smells so good. I definitely would like this in my bathroom uh, where the toilet is because it's so strong and it smells so good. All right. So, shh. So this is the over-the-door hanger uh, knob. You've seen these in Dollar Tree. You could put them in your bathroom or your kitchen. What do you guys think about this? They're horrible. I know. They They're always horrible. fall off every 10 seconds. And they break. Kind of. They yes. do. Kind of. But the one that we have down there under the counter, that one works good like for the rags. But like if you put it outside, like... Outside of the cabinet, yeah, no, don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so what she's saying is like on the outside of the door. If you put this out here, it work. It does not work well. It always falls off when you open the door. But if you put it under the sink, um, not under the sink, but inside of the cabinet, it actually works pretty well. So it, we use it for our cleaning rags, for our dishes. So if you're going to use it in that sense, it does work. But if you're going to use it for hand towels or anything like that, I would not recommend. It does bend very easily and it falls off pretty easily. So I definitely wouldn't buy this again. So I'm actually throwing this one away because it, that's how horrible it was when we used it in our kitchen. Okay. So I think everyone tried these. Was this a good buy? Yes or no? So Lily's in between. It it it. Oh my gosh. It didn't really stack. Yeah, they were supposed to be able to build, but they did uh, taste pretty good. 
Um, but if you have little, like little toddlers, they definitely would like these candies. So that was a good buy. Okay, these <laughs> biscotti Italian cookies. Maybe. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> they were too so hard. They were good. They were just hard. I almost broke my tooth. I mean, they're, they're you eat it with most, coffee, yeah, but. They're not supposed to be. <laughs> But the flavor was good. Yeah. yeah. So they're kind of like, maybe I could do without them. But if you bought them, I would eat them. My husband actually really liked these. So if I did buy them, they would probably be for just for him to eat with his coffee. So if you do like these, um, these are definitely a good find at Dollar Tree. Um, now, I know for sure Devon and Lele have tried these. These were the Kool-Aid flavored. Um, what do you call these? Jello. Jellos. Or any, if you guys tried them. It was in between because it did taste a little watery. Tastes it's, a little. Is it? Did you have it cold? We oh, didn't okay. get one. You didn't try one yet. Okay. Well, Do Devon said they're okay. He would he would eat them again if I bought bought them. You would eat them again. Um, and then we also got the strawberry kiwi one. What did you think about those, Devon? The that, strawberry kiwi one. The same. The same. You would eat it if I bought them, but you wouldn't ask for them. Then they had these Kool-Aid gummies. What do you guys think about this one? Those are good. Yeah, I thought these were good, too. I love gummies. So these were really good. I love those. Those were actually my favorite. I definitely would buy those again. Um, so Maya, had, Maya used this Daily Defense, and this was a deep conditioner. Maya, would you buy this again? Yes or no? Um... I would buy it again, but I wouldn't use it as a deep conditioner because it's it kind of just feels like a, more of a normal like everyday conditioner. Like I wouldn't use it for deep conditioning, but uh, it did work really good. So I did purchase a lot of these hand soaps, uh, Jergens hand soap. Uh, what do you guys think about this? It was cool. I love this. I love good. this hand soap. If you guys have not seen this and you or you have it in your Dollar Tree, you have to pick these up. These are so um, it makes your hands feel so soft. It feels like it's like lotion in there. Yeah, it says it moisturizes. But this one is so good. I love it. It smells good too. It does. It smells good. I yeah, we actually use it in our uh, kitchen. So we put it by the kitchen sink. Um, so I love it. That's actually my favorite hand soap. All right, so this is definitely from Christmas time. They were the Cold Stone ice cream, uh, what do you call it? Uh, candy canes. What do you guys think about this? They were nasty. Okay, so Tim and... Make my eyebrows go down. Okay. <laughs> so Lele and Devon didn't like them. Maya said in between, and Tim said they were good. Um, I really don't eat candy canes. My husband didn't like them, and I know a couple of people that came over to the house didn't like them. But out of these flavors, Tim, which ones did you like the best? The uh, strawberry shortcake one. That one so he worst. liked the strawberry shortcake one. So our family's like really in between, so you'll have to see if you like them. We Some of us like them, some don't. Um, so I actually am the only one that used this shampoo. Definitely would not never buy this again. Um, so this is by Power Stick. The packaging looks beautiful, but it's horrible. I did not like this product, and I definitely would not uh, buy this again. I didn't like the way my hair felt. I actually felt like it was drying my hair out even more, so I, I definitely would not buy this. And this still has product in it, so it's just going in the trash because I wouldn't even give it to someone. That's how, that's how bad it was. Um... I got this at Dollar Tree. This was the Nivea uh, Silk Foam. Did anybody try this? No? I don't even know what that Layla, is. Layla, you did? <laughs> I liked it just because it was mousse, but I definitely wouldn't buy it again because um, it really didn't lather on my rag or lather on my um, loofah. So I probably wouldn't buy this again, um, but that was a good find. Okay, so we have two more things. Um, this 4D gummy. Um, who tried these? Did you guys like this or no? Uh, I don't think I tried it. No? I didn't try it. Oh. Hold on, where did uh, 
These were the big, yeah, you oh, did. These yeah. were the big gummies. Oh, yeah, those were yeah, good. Those yeah, were those good. are bomb. Like, I definitely would buy those again. Oh, these yeah, were hecka good. good. If you like gummies, like, these are so good. So, I definitely would buy those again. Oh, one, no, there's two more things. So, this was, you know, those, I forgot what the brand is. The normal brand that you see in Dollar Tree. Um, I definitely wouldn't buy these again. You put them in the car, you can't even smell them. So, um, this is a no-go for me. I actually don't care for the Dollar Tree um, car scents. So, I definitely wouldn't buy that again. And then the last thing, oh, two, two yeah, no, the last thing is this light up, uh, it was a light up balloon, Devon. Devon and Lele had these. I bought, remember, I bought Devon a blue one and Leilani a pink one. And what did you think about it? It lasted for three days and then I popped it. It definitely lasts longer than a day. Like, I, I think it might even been four or five days. Like, the kids just had to, like, pop it because it was just still laying around. But when we bought it, it was already expired. And so I was telling you guys I wasn't sure if I would go buy back and buy more. But I definitely would go back and buy more. Even though it was expired, it's still lit up. And it was lit for, like, days. So this is definitely a good brand to buy. Um, I know we see these in Target for sure. But to see these in Dollar Tree was a real come up. So that is all that we have today for our... Uh, product review um, let us know down in the comments below if there's any items that you tried that we didn't like or that you did like and let us know in the comments what your favorite items are that we purchased if you like this video please make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time that I post a video thank you for spending time with our family and we'll see you later bye bye, bye. please get our mom's channel verified <laughs> bye